people often think that hazing is nothing but initiation, but that's not the case at all. An initiation is something that gives you pride, gives an individual pride, or or, or builds their self-esteem in regards to doing something. Whereas hazing kind of does the exact opposite of that. Hazing is kind of like a detrimental more than anything. It'll break you down and it kind of humiliate you. Some schools and places say that traditions are real important to the overall image to your school and to your team and that they need to be kept alive. But it's important that you choose the correct tradition to be remembered as. A tradition is something that should still honor somebody. And, uh, you know, being hazed, it, no one's, no one's going to be telling their children in 20 years about that one time when they were hazed. For some reason, people think that hazing is a, a harmless joke or, you know, a silly prank that might go awry. But it's more serious than that. It's life-threatening, degrading, and even abusive. So don't be a victim. Stand up for yourself. And so I ask, how can something so dangerous be funny? Is it going to be funny going to visit him in the hospital? How about his funeral? A lot of people think that hazing is an effective way to teach respect and discipline. However, it actually does the opposite. By forcing someone to do something they're uncomfortable with that is demeaning and degrading, they actually lose trust in the person that's doing the hazing and they don't feel part of the team. On-field performance and a strong work ethic is the best way to gain respect in athletics. It can't be demanded. Hazing only does the opposite. It breaks the trust in a team bond. People think that if there's no malicious intent in an activity that it's not considered hazing, that's just fun. But in reality, hazing is not acceptable in the least. Um, you don't really need malicious intent at all. And anything you do, and it not come out dangerous, you know, there could be tons of dangerous things that happen. People get injured, potentially killed in activities such as hazing. Some people think that hazing is voluntarily done. Uh, that is completely false. People haze and people join hazing in order to feel a part of a group. So it's almost forced upon them. Um, you learn to resent the people that you haze instead of bonding with the team together. Um, if you don't bond with the people that you're playing with or you're associating yourself with in a group, then you can't work together as a team. Um, hazing completely destroys all parts of a team and it actually breaks the team apart instead of bringing them together. If you can't be a team off the field, there's no way you can be a team on the field there's no way you can win. A general myth about hazing is that hazing can actually bring a team together and your team will be more bonding, but in fact it actually doesn't do any of that. Um, hazing will actually bring your team apart and it will make people feel victimized. And a way your team can be together is simply by practicing and playing together and going through winning and losing and that really is what bring your, brings your team together, not hazing. Any act committed against someone joining or becoming a member or maintaining membership in any organization that is humiliating, intimidating, or demeaning, or endangering the health and safety of the person. Hazing includes active or passive participation in these acts and occurs regardless of the willingness to participate in these activities. Hazing creates an environment or climate in which dignity and respect are absent. The Wesley College anti-hazing policy is in direct compliance with the state of Delaware's anti-hazing policy, which states that any individual or group of individuals will not commit any act of hazing. Hazing is defined as any action or situation which recklessly or intentionally endangers the mental or physical health and safety of a student. Or which willfully removes, destroys public or private property for the purpose of initiation or admission into an affiliation with, or as a condition for continued membership in any organization operating under the sanction of or recognized as an organization by an institution of higher learning. The Wesley College Student Athlete stands against phasing.